Hey folks, I'm in San Jose, California, the San Jose State University. And this is a location where they um, send the Japanese. They just crown them up and send them here, the old part of it. The new part is right here. But they had this part. This part is like over 100 years old. I can't find really year and dates, but if I find more data, I'll update the area. So this is very, very, very much what they um, route the Japanese um, in this area this place and they ship them out to these odd camps during um I think, uh, nine, I think it was an article uh, 1966 um got around, I think had a big fear of them of the, the royalty towards the emperor of Japan they're afraid they'll do some you know tourist stuff so this is one of the oldest buildings in San Jose State I'll walk around and get more view of it but yeah, once again, this is the new part right here, the old part. This is basically when they have, you know, basketball game, you know, concerts, um, bas you know, gym, all that fun. You know, those heavy people in the past were trained here. So pretty much this is where they were sent to stay and they decide where they're going to send them. So pretty much this side of the, of the, the hole, it's like over 100 years old. There's rumor it could be haunted during the when they send the Japanese, but there's no record of anybody dying or getting killed or bad things happening to them. And so they kind of add some things over the years, like a new part, old, new, old. So some stories that could be haunted. People claim they hear screaming, and you know a lot of records like that. But it's kind of sad, you know, these, these people didn't, didn't, didn't do anything harm. You know, they claim it was for their protection, but, you know, the thing was cold about those camps. One of these days I'll go visit it, they're like, um, you know, this is for your protection, the guards to say to them. They say, is, is this for our protection? What can the, the guns are pulling in, not out? So, it's kind of rich history. Well, I hope one of these days I go inside and film more of it. Kind of unique style to it. So... So I guess it's one of the earlier, if I find more the year of it and stuff. So you have many stories of coming here as a student. My mom did went here, so did my dad. My dad used to be a track and field here. So there's famous stories about the track stars here. To get more to that. Um, feels kind of unique. So is it haunted or, or people, but I think it's any old building could be haunted. So the truth, you know, you know, any new building can be haunted or buried under a sacred ground or, or a graveyard. You know, they'll say, you know, the guys moved the, the tombstones that been into the bodies. So I hope we get more view of it if you walk. This is part of Mer you know, dark history of California or America. So here it is. Um, I don't know how long they were detained here, the Japanese. Because you know, they had to decide where to take them. Um, firstly, they only had allowed, I think it was like only two bags for family or something. And um, I gotta go visit because I think they rebuilt some of these, the camps where they used to stay. Some of these places were in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, most people did no wrong. This, you know, this had to be a Japanese descent. But the problem was like it was more fear of murdering and stuff like that. You know, some of them did serve during World War II to prove, you know, I'm American. You know what I mean? I was born here. You know, how many people were actually were born here were sent to those camps? Well, you know, I mean, a lot of people did. Some people did die. There's some graveyards at these camps. You know, their last life. You know, not, you know, being forced to live these places. And once again, the claim was a protection, but you know, obviously that was BS. But any stories about it, or did you come here? I'd like to hear your story if you did come here, being forced to live here. I'd like to hear your stories. Please like and comment, subscribe. I'll film some other places, and then thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm over here on the other side of it. This is Forest Street over here. One quick little view of it. I like to see maybe uh, maybe I'll do an update pictures of it or talk about this in the future more details.
of the history of this place. There's some people working over there, so I'm gonna film them, get them all paranoid. Imagine these people, maybe they were sent here. The little walkway was here, and they all got sent into there. This is your new home for a while. Sorry about your real place. You know, business, people lost their business, house. I mean, they hope their neighbors will keep an eye on their stuff while they're gone. I mean, once again, I think it was like only two suitcases, a family. So you have like, you know, five kids, two kids, or, I mean, you just take the, bet you don't know how long you would be stayed here. And, and some of them were sort of the, the country during World War II, trying to put themselves, because they, because they're like traitors. But, it's kind of sad. Of course, there's a lot of hatred towards the Japanese, no matter why, because they're different. But, you know, probably learn from our history. So, unfortunately, one of the last thing I forgot to say was, uh, unfortunately, they have no landmarks or anything. I guess it was named after one of the people who was sent here. There's no landmark or anything, so I just found out looking at California history. Yeah, there's, no, there's no landmark or anything of this place. So, a little dark history. <laughs>